take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Expired antibiotics typically lose some of their potency, which means it is unlikely they will be able to completely kill the bacteria that is causing your infection. If you are tempted to use leftover or expired antibiotics for a new infection, they are not likely to help. Let's help you make your mark. When taking amoxicillin to combat an infection, it's normal to feel tired. However, if you're excessively tired to the point of feeling weak, faint, or struggling to stay awake, get medical attention. Make your mark, take our lead. Most liquid antibiotics should be refrigerated to maintain their effectiveness and taste. But not all antibiotics require refrigeration, and some actually need to be left at room temperature. Liquid antibiotics that should not be refrigerated include Biaxin Let's help you make your mark. Typical dosage is 875 mg every 12 hours, or 500 mg every 8 hours. Typical dosage is 45 mg per kilogram per day in divided doses every 12 hours, or 40 mg per kilogram per day in divided doses every 8 hours. Maximum dosage is 30 mg per kilogram per day. This is meant for children who weigh less than 88 pounds, 40 kg. Take our lead. Amoxicillin capsules and tablets have an expiry of around two years and, provided they are stored as recommended and in the original packaging, there will be a small leeway of safety if used beyond expiry. Amoxicillin suspension is different and has a very short shelf life of about 7 to 10 days once it is prepared. Make your mark, take our lead. Amoxicillin, amoxyl, is acceptable for uncomplicated acute sinus infections. However, many doctors prescribe amoxicillin clavulinate, augmentin, as the first-line antibiotic to treat a possible bacterial infection of the sinuses. Amoxicillin usually is effective against most strains of bacteria, Make your mark, take our lead. Amoxicillin is one of the first antibiotics recommended for the treatment of a tooth infection. It has shown to be widely effective and have fewer gastrointestinal side effects compared to other options. Antibiotics do not relieve pain directly, but pain may be reduced as the infection is knocked out by the antibiotic. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.